Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. If this is your first time or repeat visiting this channel, thank you for your support. On this channel, I have about nearly 700 videos and I noticed that I do not have any cooking video, so I need to try something different. And as a result, I'm doing my first cooking video. So today I'm going to talk about how to cook rice easy and simple way if you have never cooked rice before in your life. So you'll find lots of uh, rice videos online, but you know most of them are complicated and they're for professional cooks or they're not for like you know simple uh, ways to cook uh, and very difficult to follow. But today I'm going to show you my uh, cooking method, which I learned from my life experience. It was not you know uh, given by any uh, professional cook or anyone, and I'm going to show you these uh, cooking methods today, which is going to be very easy and simple to follow. And anyone can cook rice if you have never cooked in your life. Now, the expectations should be real. Don't expect to cook uh, perfect rice at the first time you try. You're going to have to just like, you know, trying uh, to get the perfect measurement and the rice uh, cooking. But uh, once you follow the steps, you're going to be uh, cooking a perfect rice very shortly. Uh, you have to just like, you know, uh, get the right measurement and the right amount of rice you are uh, taking. So whenever you're cooking rice, basically you are dealing with two different methods. One I call is rice water absorption method. And the second one I call is uh, water drain method. So basically the first one, which is the rice uh, water absorption method, or uh, the rice is absorbing the water and uh, you don't have to drain the rice. And this is very easy to do if you have a uh, rice cooker, but you can do easily with a pot. Uh, but you know, I'm going to be showing you in a rice cooker, which is much easier to do. And the rice uh, or sorry, water drain method is that, you know, you're cooking rice in, in enough water but you're not letting the rice absorb the whole water. You're just going to drain the water once the rice is fully cooked. So I'm going to touch base on that method as well. But uh, my choice of method is the uh, rice or sorry, water absorption method in a rice cooker. And that's what I'll show you today. So let's start. So the first thing you take some rice in a pot, uh, which is uh, self explanatory. Then you wash the rice and usually I wash it about uh, three, four times. So once the water, uh, you know, uh, runs clear. So let's say you wash the rice and then drain all the water. And uh, now you're going to put uh, water in the rice, which is going to be your measurement. And this is the most important part of cooking rice, because if you miss the water level or the amount of water, then your rice is going to come out either good or bad. So this is what I learned uh, from my lifetime of cooking rice, that you take a measurement by your finger uh, joint or finger mark. So for me, here is the perfect measurement of cooking rice. So this is about two inches. And if you have a like, you know, smaller or longer finger, then you can adjust your finger measurement. So for me, in order to cook perfect rice, I would just take water up to this point. So which is going to be about above 1.5 inch, but below 2.5 inch. Now, depending on what kind of rice you're cooking, let's say if you're cooking like a soft type of rices, for example, basmati, or uh, jasmine or that type of rices, then you're gonna try to stay just slightly above 1.5 inch, which is going to be about right here. But if you're cooking uh, hard rices or like, you know, uh, strong rices, for example, which could be brown rice or parboiled rice, then you have to take water level up to very close to this, which is going to be close to uh, two inches. So again, for softer rices, you're going to stay above 1.5 inch. And for like, you know, strong rices or hard rices, you're going to stay close to two inch. And that's how you're going to do. So let me just show you how it works. So I'm going to just put some water in here. And I'm going to take a spoon just to, you know, make the rice even. And now I'm going to measure how much is the water. So as you can see, it's not anywhere near like, you know, 1.5 inch. So I'm going to just keep adding more water. So if you take a look at my measurement right now, 
you're going to see that you know I'm close to uh, one and a half inch level I can just add a little bit more water and that should be good enough because you know I kind of passed 1.5 inch now let's say this is uh, right now I have basmati rice if you want the rice to make a little bit like you know softer you can make your water level close to two inch but if you want a little bit like you know perfect type of rice or very uh not like you know they're not uh, attaching to each other that kind of like you know very good rice then you can just stick to 1.5 inch so i'm very close to 1.5 a little bit maybe above so this rice should come out uh, you know not too watery and not too dry either so let's see what happens so right now i'm going to just you know put the rice in a rice cooker and You can use any pot uh, for this. For example, you can use anything uh, like this as well. But you know, rice cooker makes everything so much easier. So that's why I'm going to you know try it uh, in a rice cooker. So right now I have the rice cooker uh, on, as you can see right here, and then this should cook a perfect rice within about uh, I would say like you know 20 minutes, half an hour around that range now if you're cooking rice in a pot like that one I showed you then you have to just like you know uh, keep an eye on it and then you have to turn it off once like you know your rice is cooked enough so that's that's why I don't like to cook in a regular pot or rather I would choose a you know rice cooker because I don't have to keep checking it because once the cooking is done rice cooker is a stop it and it's just going to be a perfect rice now while this rice is being cooked let me tell you about the second method which is the water drain method so this is the water absorption method uh, the rice is going to absorb all water and is going to give you rice but if you want to drain the water then all you have to do here our measurement was close to this mark on my finger which is about two inch but if you are draining the water then actually you don't have to follow this you can just like you know put it about four uh, marks which is going to be like you know uh, four inches or even it can be like three inches but you have to just make sure that there's enough water inside the rice so the rice doesn't you know get dry or absorb all, all the water so once you have enough water which I would suggest about three and a half inch or close to four inch then you boil it uh, if you're draining the rice then it's much easier to cook in a pot like that instead of a rice uh, cooker uh, because you know a rice cooker is going to try to like you know uh, absorb the rice and it can be there may not be even enough space of a rice in a rice cooker to get you extra water but if you use a pot like that then you can put in enough rice so don't put close to two inch which we would use for the rice absorption method so put like you know three inch or four inches and then start boiling then the thing is that you have to just like you know uh, once you boil for let's say about like 20 minutes 25 minutes you have to just keep checking the rice how soft it is or if it's well cooked so you have to just like you know you can what you can do when you are using uh, the rice drain method you can just like you know take a rice like you know one piece of rice from the rice and then you just like you know press it and then you're gonna know that you know if it's done if you are pressing the rice and it's all melted inside your fingers then that means the rice is done but if you're pressing it and it's not melting that means the rice is not done yet I'm going to show when to know the rice is fully cooked from here once we cook uh, finish cooking the rice but basically uh, that's how you're gonna cook so let's wait and finish this rice then I'm going to like you know uh, end the video by uh, giving you my last uh, you know comment hello everyone the rice just has been fully cooked so I'm going to unplug the rice cooker first thing and then you can see that it's still you know the hot vapor is coming out and it's very you know uh, fluffy and it's not sticking to each other and you can see that you know it's a perfectly nice uh, cooked rice and uh, what I was telling you before that the way you can check if rice is fully cooked or not so you just take one rice and then 
when you press it uh, between your fingers then it has to be melted between your fingers so i don't feel anything hard in between my fingers so when i'm taking a rice and pressing it it's just you know totally uh i can press it all the way and i don't feel anything hard so that means the rice has been cooked fully in perfect way and uh, that's how you cook the perfect uh, cup of rice now if you're cooking it for the first time you know you may not get the perfect at the first time but you have to just like you know uh, you need a little bit of practice and again uh, this is the water absorption method and it works best if you have a rice cooker but if you don't have a rice cooker then you can still you know uh, use the process i showed you and still is going to cook a perfect uh, rice but the only thing is you have to just you know keep on uh, keep in mind that you have to just keep checking uh, when uh, rice is fully cooked so you just like you know open the uh, lid and then take out one rice and just like you know cooking each time which can be a hassle that's why i prefer rice cooker and again if you was uh, using the water drain method then it's easier to cook in a pot like the one i showed you before and you have to just put enough uh, water in the rice so it can like you know uh, boil uh, uh, or it can cook the rice fully and then after i would say like in you know, half an hour or 35 minutes then you know you take out a piece of rice and check it and if you think it's okay then you have to just drain the water but definitely this is my uh, method of choice i like uh, this way uh, water absorption uh, with a rice cooker thank you for watching this video if you like this video then definitely i'll make some more easy cooking videos in the future and uh, thanks for your support and i'll see you shortly thank you